The Charm of Evil, The Life and Films of Terence Fisher by Wheeler Winston Dixon delves into the fascinating world of a highly influential filmmaker in the horror genre. The book provides a comprehensive analysis of Terence Fisher's life and work, exploring his unique approach to storytelling and his enduring impact on the genre. Dixon begins by examining Fisher's early life and the factors that shaped his artistic sensibilities. Born in 1904 in London, Fisher grew up in a working-class family, and his humble background instilled in him a deep appreciation for the power of cinema as a form of escapism. Dixon argues that Fisher's personal experiences played a crucial role in his development as a filmmaker, fueling his desire to create stories that transported audiences into otherworldly realms. One of the book's central arguments is that Fisher's films possess a distinct charm that sets them apart from other horror movies of his time. Dixon asserts that Fisher's ability to infuse his narratives with a touch of elegance and sophistication contributed to the enduring appeal of his work. Despite the macabre subject matter, Fisher's films maintain a certain allure that draws viewers in, making them more than mere exercises in shock value. Dixon goes on to explore Fisher's signature directorial style, which he describes as a delicate balance between restraint and audacity. Fisher's meticulous attention to detail, combined with his willingness to take risks, resulted in films that were both visually stunning and emotionally resonant. Dixon argues that Fisher's use of lighting, composition, and camera angles helped create an atmosphere of dread and suspense, elevating his films beyond the realm of mere horror. The book also delves into Fisher's collaboration with iconic horror production company Hammer Films. Dixon highlights the symbiotic relationship between Fisher and Hammer, with the director's unique vision aligning perfectly with the studio's desire to revitalize the horror genre. Together, they created a series of films that reimagined classic monster stories such as Frankenstein and Dracula, giving them a fresh and modern twist. Dixon explores the thematic undercurrents in Fisher's films, noting his penchant for exploring the duality of human nature. Many of Fisher's protagonists, particularly in his Frankenstein films, are morally ambiguous characters caught between their desire for scientific progress and the ethical implications of their actions. Through these narratives, Fisher delved into complex philosophical questions about the nature of good and evil, often blurring the lines between the two. In addition to analyzing Fisher's films, Dixon provides valuable insight into the director's personal life and his interactions with the actors and crew members he collaborated with. By examining behind-the-scenes anecdotes and interviews, Dixon paints a vivid picture of Fisher as a dedicated and passionate filmmaker, revered by his colleagues for his professionalism and creativity. Overall, The Charm of Evil the Life and Films of Terence Fisher is a comprehensive exploration of the career of a remarkable filmmaker. Dixon's analysis delves deep into the artistic merits of Fisher's work, shedding light on the factors that contributed to his enduring legacy in the horror genre. Through its detailed examination of Fisher's films, directorial style, and thematic preoccupations, the book offers a valuable resource for both scholars and fans interested in understanding the charm and enduring appeal of his cinematic achievements.